Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I have a teeny, 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 tiny thrift haul. Not very big. Um, short and sweet, but you know what? Thrift hauls are sweet, right? Um, it's actually a thrift haul and a cool thing that I found on Virage Sale for a great price. So we'll do that one first. I was watching TikTok the other day. I, I finally have my, I don't know how it all works. I think the word is algorithm. Um, I've got my my TikTok algorithm into a really nice place. It's full of crafty things and puppies and kittens and rainbows and all, uh, uh, oh and, and good hair and and um, watercolor artists and mixed media artists and it's just uh, in addition to my own children sometimes will post on TikTok, which is fun too. Anyhow, this guy was on, suggested in my algorithm, and he was making a blanket on an infinity loom. And I thought, what is this? I've never seen this. I can't knit. I've tried to knit. I have given myself permission to say I cannot knit. I can crochet, and I'm quite good at crochet. But uh, knitting, no. Nah. Um, anyhow, he was working, on, he was in the airport waiting for a plane or something, and, um, uh, he takes it, he, apparently he takes his infinity loom wherever he goes and works on his latest blanket. And I thought, I, I think I need one of these. <laughs> so I went on to Amazon and they seem to be anywhere between 40 and $60, um, I didn't even look at Michael's because as soon as I saw like, and none of them were available on my prime. So I would have had to pay shipping. Oh, I need to turn that off. Sorry. My hubby's working on the, um, he's mowing the lawn. So I don't, I don't find fault with that, but he keeps triggering our, our ring doorbell because <laughs> he, he goes past it. So let's just turn that off. <sighs> Come on, ring doorbell. Yeah, every time he walks by, <laughs> here, you can see him out there. He's mowing the lawn. There he is. What a good boy. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, let me see. Uh, let me figure out how I can. Um, I'm always. How do I do this? Okay, front door. Ah, there we go. Motion snooze. That's what we want. And let's snooze this for two hours because he's going to be mowing that lawn for a while. We have a slightly bigger lawn than the rest of our street. Our, not that it's that huge, but we have, because there's sort of an underground diverted creek beside our house, we have, um, we have a lot and a half instead of just one lot, um, which is nice. It just gives us more room. Anyhow, so he has more grass to mow, though. Anyhow, this guy was working on, his, he called it an infinity loom. And um, anyhow, I um, I sort of put it out of my head. I thought, well, maybe I'll put it on my wish list uh, someday for um, my, my little hubby. He's always stumped for things to get for me from... My birthday and Christmas and I always say I don't need anything I don't need anything but he likes to give me something and so I was going to put this on my wish list and then I was going through garage sale every once in a while I look on garage sale and I look on marketplace not for anything in particular I just uh, I just like to be nosy and if this didn't come up it said new, still new in box yeah look at that it's all still this is all in the bag, still all taped shut. Um, Infinity Loom, and uh, she wanted $18. And she lived so close to me, I could have walked over to her house. So uh, that's lovely. So look at this. Oh, I've been finding YouTube channels that will be able to explain to me how to do this. If any of you 
do this, please let me know. Do you enjoy it? Is it too complicated? I'm worried this is going to be too much for my brain. But we, we will give it a go. Oh, there's the little hook that you do the lifting over. And woohoo! Blankets for everyone for Christmas. Very excited. So there's that. I think that was that can I think that qualifies for being thrifted because it certainly was less than half the price of what I was finding um, online. I hadn't been to my local Michaels, but my local Michaels isn't usually much of a savings. There were three packages of these and. I couldn't resist um, just small doilies. I love the small ones. And uh, so I, I showed a little self-control and I only bought one packet. I could have bought all three. I bought one. There's a ton in here. And they've got a very nice little pattern on them. So I'm happy. And they're not glaring white. So I'm not sure how old they are. They're soft white. Like this plastic bag is a glaring white. And they seem to be just a softer white. Maybe they're old, um, or maybe they're just, maybe that's just the shade that they were. It's got a name on it. Latika? Lahaiko? La I can't tell. I can't tell. That's okay. Got a couple of little books that I thought might be fun. I don't know if you recall a while back, probably about a year and a half ago, I did five books at once. I call them the Honey Bunch Quintuplets. And uh, so I found um, I found some Thornton Burgess books. They, they had, actually they had six there. I only bought these three. And um, the, the other ones kind of had like violent covers. That One of them there was, there was a beaver and a badger fighting and and uh, one of them, a bear, was chasing someone. I thought these ones were rather cute. I liked the, I liked uh, all of these. Now this one, I'm hoping I'm right. There's some artwork from obviously a little person. It looks like pencil. So let's give it a go and see if this is pencil. We're gonna go down close. There we go. And let's see if, uh, let's cross our fingers. I figured it was worth a try. I paid $2.49 for these, but it was Senior's Day, so I got my discount. So that was nice. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that's pencil. And it is. Score. So that's coming right off. Beautiful. Happy girl. Mr. Toad, you're going to make a sweet little journal someday. It's a nice size book. These are um, 101 years old, 1920. So uh, that's, uh, these are just gonna make sweet little journals. I don't think I would expand them. I, sorry if this is jiggling. Um, I don't think I would expand the spine. I think I would just make them as a pretty little journal. Bedtime Storybooks, 1920. Love it. There's copyright 1916, but this issue is 1920, which is fine. Now, I don't think there's any... No, there's no illustrations. That's fine. It's going to... It's going to begin its new life as a journal anyways. Oh, look at this. Be My Valentine. Oh. Little artists, adventures. <gasps> you do know that. Oh, isn't that cute? That's sweet. Let's see if there's any more artwork in any of these others. George Pollitt, Mary Street, Oshawa. Oh, okay, that's a couple street, a couple cities over from me. I'm near there, but I'm not. Maybe there was an. Oh, it looks like maybe there was artwork in it and it got torn out. That's all right. Oh, yeah, that, this one's got a little bit of art. The Adventures of Mr. Mocker. Oh, I should get the camera back up. Hold 
on. That's better. Um, let's see this one. The Adventures of Danny Meadow Mouse. I liked that one with the little mouse and the little frog. So, oh, if you hear the lawnmower, he's moved into the backyard here. He found me. Yep, it looks like this one had a picture and it's gone too. 1915, 1922. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so this one's only 99 years old. Let's see if that'll come off all right, or if I need, if I need the blow dryer. No, you're being good. That's nice. All right. Now these are pretty grimy. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to have to go over them uh, with my with my eraser, but I will not. Um, Hundred years old. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to use anything wet on them. I could lose that nice red ink. Good. I'm happy with that. Um, what else did I find? Oh, I got this. And I hope it's what I think it is. It, uh, and it's sealed shut, so it's still new in the box from the store. Um, let's see what it is. It says on it, the Book Lover's Kit, it says... The, does the smell of fresh end papers make you weak in the knees? Yes, it does. Are your bookshelves stuffed to overflowing? Yes, they are. <laughs> For bibliophiles everywhere, the Book Lover's Kit has everything you need to be a true book connoisseur. Oh, my. A ribbon bookmark, parchment paper plates, a stamp, and an ink pad. And a 32-page book guides and instructs you on creating your personal library, starting a book club, and more. Wow. Wow, there we go. Let's see. I just like that it sounded like it had a stamp in it, and I'm hoping the stamp is an open book. Um, it had no price tag on it. The young lady charged me 79 cents, and I got my discount. So I figured... 79 oh, come on 79 cents was worth taking a chance on there we go let's see come on come on boy oh boy this box is well made There's the little book, the book lover's book. Oh, how to start your book club. Interesting. <laughs> it's tiny. <laughs> Ex Libris. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there's the little, you know what? That'll go into a junk journal. That's quite all right. Let's see. Let's see. Come on it. Come on it. Well, that's an interesting thing that had never occurred to me before. To use a ribbon and tie some trinkets to the ends of the ribbon to become the bookmark. So I guess you do this and then hang it over. That's kind of clever. All right, well, I'm happy with that. Now, let's see what these are book notes so you can ah I guess if you want to use it as a bookmark and make some notes in it they'll get used little book notes I may need to press these they're definitely now this I wonder what the I wonder if this is dried Where is, where is some paper? Paper, paper, paper. Oh, there it is. All right. <laughs> ah, 
All right, this can go in the garbage. No offense. Nice. All right, let's try again. Getting it on the hands. Well, that's cute. Look at that. I mean, it's the size of a nickel, but it's cute. How's that? Ex Libris and Little Books. That's cute. I, I think I would use that. Wow. Now, in the spirit of stamps, um, okay, oh, there's my receipt. Need that. Um, <laughs> I couldn't believe what I found there today, and it was seventy-nine cents. Um, it was meant to be. Look at this stamp, and it's never been used, never been stamped. And this, I, this was meant for me to find it. Look at this. It's that, uh, it's that old-fashioned sunshine. Look at that. So, let's try it, shall we? I hope it works better than the one I already have. I actually ordered one off Amazon. And uh, it wasn't it wasn't good. So let's see if the seventy nine cent stamp is better than the twenty six dollar stamp. <laughs> oh, that's going to be good. Still need to go get a mouse pad to put underneath when I when I stamp. Apparently that will make my stamping better to put a mouse pad underneath. So I, I still need to go do that. Go to my dollar store and just get get one. Let's try again. Oh, that's awesome. That was just meant to be. Let me find my other one and I'll show you. Um, and I don't have the heart to write a bad review. I mean, people are just trying to earn a living and it looks like it should be a good stamp, but it's not. Where is it? I don't even know where it is now. Oh well, I have one that is, that's actually this symbol. I've printed this one off my computer. So slightly different, but in a similar spirit. And it just print, it stamps just like a blobby blurry mess. It's not clear at all. That's actually very nice. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy. Shall we stamp one more time before I go? I'm very, very happy. This is soothing my spirit. I'm missing my crush. But I can't deny her a vacation with her family. That'd be very selfish of me. <laughs> Apparently she's having a lovely time. And uh, that's good. That's good. All right. One more time, little son. Let's do it. Seventy nine cents. Oh, I love when you find an awesome thing thrifting as if it was sitting there waiting for you to come in the store. Wow. Love it. So somebody named LB was cleaning out and said, I've never used this stamp. I'm going to donate it. And, uh, 
Catherine came along on the right day. Beautiful. Well, there we go. That's it. That's, I told you it was a tiny little thrift haul. I got to get back to work on As You Like It. I'm going to be working on the, the journaling board that I'm going to sort of make like a raggedy journal journaling board so that it hangs out over the edge and makes it look pretty, but you can pull it out and it won't get in the way. Um, so I, uh, I need to get started on that. So in the meantime, take care, have a great rest of your day and, uh, we will talk soon, probably tomorrow because uh, after I turn this off, I'm going to get to work on the journaling board. We'll talk soon. Bye.